Today, we are going to learn about someone who followed her dream. That's true. Not only did she follow her dream, but she actually changed the world by becoming the first ever to achieve it. Let's learn about Mae Jemison. The first ever African-American female astronaut. May was part of the crew for the Space Shuttle Endeavor. And this space shuttle and crew orbited Earth for over one week in 1992. May Jemison was born on October 17th in 1956 in Decatur, Alabama. She was the youngest of three children. Her brother and sister are Charles and Ada Jemison. Her father was Charlie Jemison. He was a main and supervisor, and her mother was Dorothy Green. She was a school teacher. When May was three years old, her and her entire family moved to Chicago, Illinois to find more opportunities in education as well as new jobs. May Jemison was fascinated by science from a very young age. From the time she was a child, she knew she wanted to be a scientist. May really liked to study and used the library all the time, especially to learn about science and astronomy. In 1973, May graduated from Morgan Park High School in Chicago. She was only 16. And during her time there, she realized that she wanted to build her career in biomedical engineering. Next, she received a scholarship from Stanford University in California. May graduated from Stanford University in 1977 with a degree in chemical engineering. And during this time, May did other activities outside of school. She did things like dance, theater, including lots of volunteer work. According to Mae Jemison, being a black woman at university was hard because there was a lot of racial discrimination. Next, May had to make a decision between becoming a professional dancer or attaining her medical degree upon graduation. But as much as she enjoyed dancing, she chose to go to Cornell University, a medical school in New York. May also became the head of the Black Student Union. And while attending Cornell University, May helped people who had fled their country due to unsafe living conditions when they lived there. She also helped to run health studies in Kenya. And while she attended Cornell University, she studied how complicated organisms can be influenced by gravity. She then received her medical degree in 1981. At first, she worked as a doctor in Los Angeles, California, and then volunteered as a Peace Corps medical officer in Sierra Leone and Liberia for over two years. Some of her daily tasks were teaching as well as medical research. May Jemison then returned to the United States in 1985. It was then that she decided to pursue her lifetime goal to become an astronaut. She soon sent her application for the NASA Astronaut Training Program. She was one of the 2,000 people to apply. It was in 1987 that May Jemison enrolled in NASA's astronaut program. Then in 1992, Jemison flew aboard the shuttle Endeavour. And her official title was the Science Mission Specialist. At that time, she was the first ever African-American female astronaut. And May Jemison and the crew spent eight days in outer space, over 190 hours, and they circled the Earth 126 times. Some of May's responsibilities were to test the crew for weightlessness as well as motion sickness. 
She also experimented how tadpoles developed in zero gravity. May retired from NASA in 1993 and went on to create her own company, the Jemison Group. The Jemison Group created, which is a satellite-based telecommunication system. And the system was to be created and used to deliver healthcare and information to developing nations. May was also a professor in the Environmental Studies program at Dartmouth College. May Jemison has spent many, many years inspiring the next generation of scientists. She also founded the Earth We Share. And the Earth We Share is an international science camp where high school students focus on problem-solving skills on many, many different issues all around the globe. May published her autobiography in 2001. And her autobiography is titled, Find Where the Wind Goes, Moments from My Life. May is a popular speaker and has received countless awards, including honorary degrees recognizing many of her incredible, incredible achievements. May Jemison was very inspired by Martin Luther King Jr. And she believed the civil rights movement was a signal to separate barriers caused by segregation. After her famous and historic flight, May remarked that people should recognize how women plus members of different minority groups can help and contribute if they are given the opportunity. And here are a few other amazing facts about Mae Jemison. Mae Jemison was actually the first real-life astronaut to appear in an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. She also was on World of Wonder, which is a science series on the Discovery Channel. She was a host as well as a consultant for the series. And May was inducted into the United States National Women's Hall of Fame in 1993. She also speaks four different languages. English, Russian, Japanese, and Swahili. That's Swahili. Swahili. <laughs> she got it! And for our final fact, in 2017, May Jemison was highlighted in a Lego set that was based on the women of NASA. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know about the first African-American female astronaut, May Jemison. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Bye. Bye.